hi everyone this is chef Gene academy so in this short video i want to show you some of the new things about the proto structure 2021 release so this release is uh the latest of proto structure then you can see one of the major thing you you find different is the interface so the user interface look a little bit different even though if you look closely you see there is really no much difference compared to the older versions so now they've now arranged the uh the modeling tools or all the tools in the software to be at the top part and then from here you can access all other things you want to access from the software so they've divided the menu into 11 so from the building setup to the head tab so now one of the things you first notice is that once you over on any of the tools on the software it gives you like a a simple definition and how to use it then some little tips about it then it can even link you to watch some videos for example under the modeling let's say you want to insert columns then it will give you some videos on how to insert columns using various methods if it is war you have the same thing so this kind of look uh, nice then you see that under the building set out is just exactly like what we have before but in this case now you can import from Revit structures then you can import from both 2d and 3d dxf uh, file so you can import from 3d or 2d dxf file so everything looks different look the same just a little bit tweak in the interface and the layout so then uh there's really no much difference here you can set out your building story operation insert remove story generate story and all that stuff so and here is where you have the structure tree so structure tree just take account of all the structural elements you have in each story so that you can access them as quick as you can so this new interface look more user friendly and more easy to find all other things or anything you're looking for then if you look here the tabs here they look the icons now look bigger and more nice like visually it looks nice and then you can easily relate with this you can easily see that this is for axis you don't have to over on it to see the definition so you can see that this is for slab this is for wall this is for columns and this one is for beams so is user relationship it looks better then uh you can see under the modeling here you have everything all your structural element to model both the concrete and the steel structure then you also have the tab here where you can define your support type the plane definition and then where you can edit your selections so then for the loadings you basically have nothing much just that you can now incorporate from here you can get your load cases definition wind load and all that then uh, you can also see your temperature difference data so it depends on the type of project that you are working on you have to define a temperature load case but in this project i don't define a temperature load case so that's why it, it pops off this so that you can see the difference in temperature when the building is loaded before it's loaded and after it has been loaded then this review tab this review tab is known as the uh the edit tab in the previous fashion so here is where you can check for your orthogonality if some of your axes are not perfectly orthogonal you can make them orthogonal using this one so there's really no much difference then you have column section you can color the columns the beam section materials so the, all these stuff are just what we have earlier but it you can now find them easily compared to the lower versions then this is your beam in integration 
So under the analysis, the analysis is also the same. You perform linear analysis using this bit analysis, FE analysis. Then you also perform, you can now perform non-linear analysis, which is the pushover and time history. Then you can see your analytical model from here. You don't have to go to analysis, build analysis because you before you can see your analytical model. If you've run your analysis, you can easily see it. it you can access it from here, just like this. So this is the analytical model. Then uh so let me just close the tab. so uh that's just that then you also have the design tab the design tab is just where you carry out your design your column design beam design rib slab foundation and all that so then another thing that looks more awesome is that you can access your detailed drawings right from proto structure here without even exporting to product details for example let's say i want to see the column elevation and then i select the story i want to see if you want to see more than one story you can multi-select by holding the control by holding the control button and then select the story you want to see then from here it will just bring you the uh the column elevation so let me just close this tab so this one is for story three let me close this tab as well and then let me close this one as well so i have just this so if i click on column elevation now and i select story one and i click ok so you see it brings out your reinforcement as you can see the detailing right from portal structures even before you export it to portal details you can export from to portal details using this icon portal details icon then if you are using a printer steel software, you can use this printer steel icon to export your drawings to printer steel. Then here is your quantity extraction table. All these things are not really new. It's just that you can now find them easily and faster. So then you now have the beam tab. So this beam tab allows you to import and export from Revit and also export back to Revit then you can export as a 3D DXF now then you can export to SAP, ETAPS and other softwares so then the display, the display just allow you to set your display settings visual interrogation all this stuff that we set so everything is the same just little difference in the look and the head tab so you can see majorly everything is the same so let's go into the analysis let me just ch check on the bidding analysis you see almost the same thing then here is where you check your uh code foundation loadings title input your title for the project then for your load combinations the same thing just using this so before you have this at the top now you now have at the bottom load add this generator to generate your load cases and then for the wind load you just click on wind load but before you can generate the wind load you make sure that you select a wind code so if you don't select a wind code we ask you to go back and select a wind code then once you select a wind code you can easily generate the wind loadings like that input your parameters and then apply so once you apply you click ok but you, now you can even import wind load from other stuff like excel sheet you can you import wind load from excel sheet and then you apply it on your structure just like that so the modded option the same thing no major difference analysis no major difference post analysis exactly the same the exporting option here is the same the report is almost the same but now you now have the slab load report you now have the slab load report you also have the sway classification report actually you can generate all of this before but they now put it here so 
for you to find it easily so let's say i choose 31 click ok then you can see the reports for your slab and then let's say you want to check for the beams you can see everything so uh, let's look at the foundation part for the foundation you can insert part foundation pipe foundation if it is raft you can just insert beams and slab then you run your fe analysis so fe analysis is really not different from what we have in the previous fashions everything is the same thing but you have to insert your beams insert your uh so to insert beams you come back to the modeling so that you can insert your beams click on the beams then once the beam and uh, panel drops you can insert your beams like that then you can also insert your slabs like that your raft slab so so this is just inside the slab then come to your analysis and run your fa analysis just like the way we do so there's really no major difference so let me delete these guys i want to delete the beam and the slab so for your column design for your column design the design uh, sorry for your part foundation there's nothing much in the part foundation what you just have is everything is the same basically Sight part footing analysis is out of date so i have to rerun the analysis so that the part footing is going to be inserted so then another thing that you should know is uh you can you might be wondering where you can find your settings your design settings where you can set your design settings and your beam setting column setting all those settings you need to set for your structural element you can find it under the building set out then you see setting centers or you can even click on this setting icon setting center you find it there so once you click on it this interface look exactly like what we have on proto details before so now you can now have access to it on proto structures so here is where you can set your structural element settings let's say for example you want to set the beams you click on the beams then you have this drop down you can set your design using this design tab you can set the parameter settings the minimum reinforcement the maximum reinforcement your spacing then the link spacing maximum link spacing then the link diameter everything can be set from here so it's just a little everything is the same just that they put it in a kind of a different location so then the steel bar selection the method definition bent of bars and containment the join detail settings so how you want your drawing details to look like and all that so that is basically what we have in proto structure 2021 so let's quickly run the analysis so that we can check the part foundation as well if there's any new thing that we can so if you like what you've been seeing kindly hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel so that we'll be able to make more awesome videos on proto structures or any other software and on design generally so if you check through this this channel you see a lot of videos on structural design manual and using cap um, software so let's just close all these tabs so to insert pad footing is basically the same thing let me just highlight select insert footing then uh, you see everything looks kind of different but it's still the same <laughs> this is your label column the depth of your column lx and your ly and this is the reinforcement that i provide so since i've 
highlighted everything so i allows it to design it at once so you can this is where you can set your foundation settings just like the normal settings under the foundation here set your soil rain capacity allowing soil pressure your cover and your foot minimum footing width and all that so if i click on ok now it's going to insert the part footing so let's say you want to check this footing click on it and select properties so then you can check these are the uh geometry of your footing you can try to view it in 3d this is the 2d form this is the 3d you can use the right wheel of your mouse to rotate the 3d icon about so you can see the 3d form of the reinforcement so this look more real compared to just looking at it from the 2d form then here you can use this one to create your report you can click on this so that it will redesign it see the design the depth of the footing and all that so that is basically what you have in protal structures then uh, so that's basically what you have there's really nothing special it's just a change in orientation and change in position then the software is a little bit more user user friendly and you can easily find anything you are looking for compared to the older versions so make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you